Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Timothy from Cognito Academy. And in this video, we will be interpreting the various velocity time graphs. So let's hop into it. Let's first cover the various features of the velocity time graph. First, the gradient. We know that acceleration is given by the change in velocity over the change in time. So in other words, acceleration is the gradient of the velocity time graph. Next up, displacement. The area under the velocity time graph is displacement. The first type of graphs we will be covering are straight line graphs, where gradient and hence acceleration is constant. Let's analyze this graph in terms of its velocity, acceleration and displacement. Velocity is constant at zero, meaning the object is stationary. Gradient is zero, hence there is no acceleration. Area under the graph is also zero, hence there is zero displacement. Next, in this graph, we see that this object is travelling at a constant speed of 8 meters per second. There is no acceleration on this object since the gradient is zero. Displacement of this object is positive since area under the graph is positive. Moving on, in this graph, we can see that the velocity here isn't constant anymore. Instead, it is increasing at a constant rate from 0 to 8 meters per second. Since it is a straight line graph pointing upwards, gradient is constant and positive and the object is undergoing constant positive acceleration. Displacement is positive due to the area under the graph being positive. Next up, in this graph, this object's velocity is decreasing at a constant rate from 8 meters per second to 0, coming to rest eventually. It is also a straight line graph but pointing downwards. Hence, gradient is constant but negative in this case, which means acceleration is constant but negative. A negative acceleration basically means acceleration in the opposite direction of convention. Or in layman terms, acceleration is pointing backwards. In summary, in the context of velocity, acceleration or displacement, negative refers to the direction being opposite, or in layman terms, pointing backwards. Even that, displacement is positive since area under the graph is positive. Now that we are done with covering all the straight line velocity time graphs, let's move on to curves, where gradient and hence acceleration isn't constant anymore. We can see from this graph that velocity is increasing from 0 to 8 meters per second, but at a non-constant increasing rate. Looking at this gradient, gradient is becoming steeper and pointing upwards. Hence, gradient is increasing and positive, and so is acceleration. Displacement is also positive since area under the graph is positive. Next up in this graph, we can see that velocity is also increasing here, but at a decreasing rate. How do we tell that it is at a decreasing rate? Let's look at the gradient. The gradient is positive, but it's becoming gentler, meaning gradient is decreasing. Hence, acceleration is positive but decreasing. Displacement is also positive, since area under the graph here is positive. Here, we see that velocity is decreasing from 8 meters per second to 0 at a non-constant increasing rate. Looking at the gradient, since it is pointing down, gradient and hence acceleration is negative. Gradient is getting steeper, hence gradient and hence acceleration is getting more negative. Displacement is still positive since area under the graph is positive. Now to the final type of graphs, the negative graphs, where velocity gets negative. A negative velocity refers to velocity in the opposite direction of convention, or in layman terms, velocity pointing backwards, meaning that the object is moving backwards and not forward. Here, our object is moving at a constant velocity of negative 8 meters per second, meaning that the object is moving backwards at a constant 8 meters per second. Looking at the gradient, since this graph is a straight line and flat, gradient and hence acceleration is zero. Displacement in this case is negative, since we can see that the area under the graph is negative. A negative displacement means that the displacement of the object is in the opposite direction of convention, or in layman terms, the object is behind where it originally started. And this makes sense since we know that this object has been moving backwards. Next up in this graph, we can see that velocity here is getting more negative from 0 to negative 8 meters per second at a constant rate. 
What this means in layman's terms is that the object is gaining speed as it is moving backwards. Looking at this gradient, since it is a straight line graph pointing down, acceleration is constant but negative, meaning that acceleration is in the opposite direction of convention, or in layman terms, acceleration is pointing towards the back. Displacement is also negative since area under the graph is negative. Now to our final graph where we combine the positive and negative graphs together. We can see that velocity here decreases from 8 to 0 meters per second, coming to rest at time t momentarily, before getting more negative at a constant rate. Remember that a negative velocity means velocity in the opposite direction of convention. In layman terms, the object is travelling backwards after time t. This means the object was initially travelling forward but slowing down before coming to a stop and proceeded to start moving backwards with an increasing speed. Looking at the gradient, we see a straight line graph pointing down, meaning gradient and hence acceleration is constant but negative. A negative acceleration means acceleration is pointing in the opposite direction of convention, pointing backwards. Now displacement. Note that displacement A is positive and displacement B is negative since its area under the graph for part B is negative. Net displacement for this entire duration is calculated by taking A and subtracting it by B. With that, we have come to the end of our video analyzing the different velocity time graphs. If you liked this video and found it helpful, do drop us a like down below and subscribe to stay tuned for more awesome content. Also, do visit our website at www.cognito.academy and our Instagram for more educational content that I am sure will definitely help you out. With that, see you!